Now, today, we're going to focus on freedom of thought, man. You got to feel, you, you, everybody has a right. Everybody has things they want to do in life. You got to have a, a freedom to get to these goals. Because, you know what I mean? It's a thought, but then it's a process, and bang. What you want to do is get to the freedom of thought. And what you want to do is, you want to pretty much, what you want to do is, you want to pretty much go with whatever's inside you and get it out. The freedom of thought is something that you can't teach, you can't buy, you just have to learn it through experience. Now, I've learned it through experience. I've learned it from cursing at a young age. Freedom of thought, you got to be able to use all your words in your vocabulary. So I like to curse. So I'm like, I'm not going to curse now. But I curse a lot in my life. And ain't nothing wrong with that because it's a word that I want to use and that's my freedom of thought to use it. You got to be open. You got to open yourself up. You got to say, forget it, man. Everybody's going to tell you no and you got to just say, forget it. I'm going to go with whatever is in my heart to do right now. And you have to read. You got to get outside the box and get knowledge, man. If the, you're not going to have a thought if you don't have any knowledge to have a thought. That makes sense? Makes sense to me, man. So, today's guest, we're going to have a bunch of people that are thinking outside of the box and they're creating their own brands and they're doing things that aren't necessarily what people say they should do, but they're doing them anyway. So, we're just going to bring on our first guest. Today, we have on Tashana Ellis. Come on over, beautiful ladies. How you doing? Talk to the people. Hi, how are you? Live on TrentoniaTV.com. So, break it down. Tell the people exactly what you do, everything about you. Tell them all in the shortest amount of time you can tell them. <laughs> Don't give them your life story. Just give them a piece just of your little, life story. Just a piece? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Well, my name is Tasha Jasmine. I am the founder of Be Mind Just Hope. This is a youth women mentor program where we service young ladies from the ages of 13 to 18. We work on empowering them on their self-esteem, mm -hmm. you know, about the very things that they need to know in life. And you know, one topic that we deal with is dealing with issues that they never dealt with before. So we're getting down to the gritty, you know, the things that they never spoke about, you know, the things that, you know, they never talked about to their parents, you know, forgiveness, you know, working on them, you know, and then as we work on them, then we send them to other people that can work on, you know, the education side of them, you know, partnerships and we're just doing our thing. So at that age, you're talking about a lot of sex. I, I was a 13 to 18 year old boy and I remember what I thought about. So do you talk about sex in these programs? Right now we haven't really focused on that. Right. If it come up, you know, we will address it, but that's not really our main focus. What's the main but focus? Empowering them, you know, teaching them to be to be great women. Right. You know, so they won't be around the city. You know, we notice a lot of the girls in the city are dying. And not just a physical death, but a mental and an emotional death. Mm. And we want to save them from that. We want to empower them. That was powerful, what you just <laughs> said. You empowering me, man. They ain't just dying physically. They dying from spiritually, exactly. mentally. I like exactly. that. That's from the heart right there. So how can the people get in contact with you if they want to send their daughter down there to do? And where is the program run at? Give us more information on the program. Well, you can contact me via Facebook. We have a, a program. The, the, the name is Emija, E-M-I-I-J-A, Hope. You can find us on Facebook. Um, you can find us at Urban Promise Trenton. We have a strategic alliance with them. They're on West State Street, 801 West State Street. Um, every Thursday from 415 to 515, we work with a group of females to bring the females down, you know, and reach out to us. We can give you our number. You can contact Tyrone. He can give you my yeah, contact information. Yeah, I pass it on. Yeah. yeah, we're looking for all the girls in the community, so bring them all to us. That's beautiful, man. So what's the five-year plan for the program and the five-year plan for you personally within the program? Well, you know, within five years, we want to be doing this full time. We want to set up shop around Camden, you know, different areas in the communities. We want to empower the young ladies everywhere. We want to eventually have our own group home. That's and beautiful. we want to house young girls. And you're going to give them the knowledge to be successful in life. To be successful. I love it. That's beautiful, man. Well, hey, you got anything else you want to tell the people? Because you got Trenton on you right now. You're on Trentonian TV, Trentonian.com. Talk to the people. Whatever else you want to get off your chest about the city, about your program, about you, about me, whatever. Go ahead. <laughs> First, yours. I would like to say thank you for this opportunity and good luck and everything that you're doing. Oh, thank you, man. And thank then you. I would like to say that, you know, be informed about the program. Be able to, you know, be willing to know that someone is doing something in Trent, New Jersey. And that we wanted, we would not see our daughters, our sisters be victims in the city. We want to help if someone is doing it in the city of Trent. So you help be a part of the movement also. That's right. Say that one more time and speak a little louder so the people can hear Because that was powerful what you said. <laughs> we want you to know to be a part of the movement. Someone is doing something in the city of Trenton. And you can be a part of the movement as well. That's right. That's beautiful. Hey, thank you for coming by. Thank you. Appreciate you. 
Well, if you know, if I have them, my daughter's small, but when she get there, if she come talking to sex about with you, I know where to come. Bring it to you. There we go. <laughs>